Capricorn, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be a general reading for the zodiac sign of Capricorn. It will not resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. This will be for any Capricorn placement propensity that is relevant to you. Contact information, personal reading information, anything seen in the video will all be on my website. The link for that is in the description box. At the end, we will also pull some oracles for you just to give you some more guidance for the week. This is uh, aimed for the month of March. I mean, April. <laughs> what time is elusive? Whenever the reading reaches you, that's when you are meant to hear it. I do only take jumpers, so patience is necessary. One card out. Jumping right in for Capricorn. Mm. One more card for Capricorn, please. What do they need to know? Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Definitely some sort of a relationship energy, whatever type that may be. Friendship, romantic, mother, daughter, whatever. It will be different for all of you. One more card for Capricorn, please. What do they need to know? Capricorn. Very quiet. It's like drum roll, please. What's the last card? Come on. What is the last card for Capricorn? Two more cards. I actually saw these in your pre-shuffle. Bottom of the deck this week, Capricorn, beautiful. The Ace of Cups, a renewal, an emotional renewal, whether that is within yourself, external. Definitely some sort of divine opportunity here to have those emotions overflowing, to really be in your feelings in a beautiful way, in a positive way, in a full way. Whether you're filling your own cup or the situations around you interacting with are helping you, you know, really feel full of love. The letter W or M could be relevant to you. <clears throat> in your past position the page of swords air sign energy with the ten of wands definitely some sort of observing going on here in the past this could be you this could be someone else around you in your energy but someone was i think getting burdened by the fact that they were only able to observe excuse me the page of swords is usually an observing energy a learning energy um gathering of information this could be you some of you might be in school studying or learning some sort of trade or something it was hard. It was hard to say the least. The Ten of Wands is my you're doing too much card, right? Carrying a lot. But definitely I'm getting this is somebody that has been feeling very burdened with either some sort of thought. Right? Maybe being burdened that they're only able to watch. Right? But that burden, that heaviness is going to come to an end. They're ready to drop this burden. Since there are only Ten Wands that you can acquire. After that, you're pretty much like you're, you're going to surrender, right? online energy with that page of swords as well and now that i'm looking at it he's kind of looking over to this ace of cups so there definitely could be someone that has been from a distance friend family that really probably has a lot of feelings for you in some way shape or form maybe only able to watch not really communicate but it looks like they're no longer going to be holding back in your present position Gemini energy, the lovers, major arcana with the four of wands. Somebody's definitely making the choice to mend things, right? Uh, lover's card is a, a divine union, whether it's friendship or love. Definitely, this is love for most of you, romantic. Definitely could be your friend as well, right? Someone that means a lot to you, someone that you mean a lot to. Making the choice, choosing love. That's what that uh, lover's card is signifying. Definitely going to be bringing in some sort of stability or... Uh, solidness to a foundation that 11 of wands is you know celebrations of milestones weddings moving in together commitments engagements someone is definitely making the choice to commit to make something real okay no longer watching no longer waiting four of wands in your timing energy four days could be significant something happening there's definitely going to be some sort of expression yeah 
communication, expression. Somebody's ready to move forward. Chariot energy with cancer. Definitely could be an in-person conversation you might be having with someone. Especially with all this page energy, definitely some sort of new beginning. Could be a renewal in an old situation. Or it could be someone completely new. We have more page energy in your future energy. Page of Wands and Major Arcana, the Justice card. Definitely some good news coming in. Most of you, all of you, most likely will want to hear from this person. This is not some sort of toxic situation here. There's nothing toxic about this. Okay? Nothing. So even if it was an argument, this is not someone that is malicious. So if that's what you're looking for, this is not this. Okay? This is either someone new or someone that, you know, you just haven't spoken to for a while. Or they were only able to watch, not so much able to take action. But with that chariot card, action is definitely getting ready to be taken. Making moves. The chariot, he has his eye on something. And he just goes straight towards it. No holds bar, right? Justice, and this is justice. Balancing energy too. Some sort of communication that will be very exciting. Sparking some sort of new energy. Bringing balance to a situation. Bringing fairness. Justice is justice in your favor. Also could be karmic energy as well. Extra card. Leo energy, the sun card, I mean, cherry on top, right? This is something that's definitely going to make you happy. For some of you, you've been wanting to speak to this person. You've been wanting to take things further. But there's definitely something that was preventing that from happening. Someone could have definitely had too much on their plate. Someone with multiple responsibilities could definitely be work. But also seeing the Ten of Cups here. Beautiful, beautiful energy. I mean, right? All right, let's get the oracles, see what they got going on. Capricorn. What do we have for Capricorn? Libra, Gemini, or Leo, Cancer energy could be relevant. But there's definitely some sort of emotional situation. Lots of cups, passion. A new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. Some of you, this is marriage. Straight up. This is someone that you have the potential to spend a very long time with. Especially with this Four of Wands here. This Justice card, which can be courthouse matters. Making the choice. Saying yes sort of energy. Love. Happiness. Long-term commitment. Long-term emotional fulfillment. You know? Beautiful energy moving forward. A new romantic cycle begins very clearly. And at the bottom of the deck, you are good enough. If that was a doubt. If you were wondering. <laughs> just in case you were wondering. What are we here? Let's get Animal Oracle for Capricorn. Beautiful reading for you guys though. Definitely some sort of karmic cycle has been completed. Which is clearing the way clearing the way for what it is that is actually meant for you love lots of love going on here think on your feet number 27 which is a 10 no eight nine sorry very single completion energy nine is actually completion 10 is expired energy think on your feet so it's almost telling me there's definitely going to be a choice that has to be made here there's going to be a choice that needs to be made maybe something you're not expecting Okay, for some of you, it's definitely a proposal. Or let's move in, or let's, you know, something you're not going to see coming. You're not expecting. What do we have for Capricorn this week? One card for Capricorn, please. Awakening, energetic upgrades, a new way of being, integration. Light as a feather. This is how you're going to be feeling. Cloud nine energy. Dance with life. Do something to change your energy. There's going to be reason to celebrate. Definitely getting, you know, engagement party vibes, housewarming vibes. You know, this could also be just summertime as well. Going out more, having someone to go out with. That's your reading for the week, Capricorn. I really do hope this resonates with every single last one of you. Thumbs me up, leave me a comment if it does, and I will see you all next week.